Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Aegis Mobile Electric. In today's video, we're going to take a detailed look at our robust line of surface and panel mount circuit breakers. Stay tuned. What I have here are a few examples of our circuit breakers that we offer here at Aegis Mobile Electric. They come in either surface mount or panel mount configurations and range from 50 amps to 250 amps for the surface mount and from 50 to 150 amps for the panel mount variation. They are also great for higher voltage applications up to 72 volts and are backed by an industry leading four year warranty. These are waterproof with IP67 and IP69K ratings and prevent dust intrusion as well. They are also ISO 8846 and UL1500 rated for ignition protection, which means if you have this installed in a confined or unventilated space with the potential for combustible gas such as gasoline or propane to be present, the device would not cause an ignition of the gas. These devices can operate in between negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit and 180 degrees Fahrenheit, so they are great for operating in harsh conditions. Both models have two mounting holes that measure about seven millimeters and can be mounted with either quarter 20 or M6 bolt sizes. Both models are two inches wide roughly in size and their lengths vary a bit depending on mounting type and amp rating. This is due to varying terminal stud sizes used to accommodate different amp loads. The surface mounting units are about one and three quarter inches tall and the panel mount models have an above panel mount height of around one inch with a total depth of nearly two inches. Please make sure that you disconnect your electrical system power source before installing components. Additionally, please refer to SAE and ABYC recommendations to ascertain the proper wire type and gauge for your specific application. So on the surface mount unit, we have the stainless steel input stud here at the top. This stud would be connected to your battery positive terminal. Then here at the bottom is the circuit breaker output. This connects to your electrical loads and can be routed either directly or to another inline component, such as our TH series relays or our RT series fuse blocks to break out multiple smaller amp circuits with reduced fuse ratings and wire sizes. For 30 to 150 amp rated circuit breakers, you will need a 7 16 or 11 millimeter socket or wrench to tighten the terminal nuts. And for the higher amp rating models, such as this 250 amp version, you will need a 9 16 or 14 millimeter socket or wrench to tighten the terminal nuts. These nuts have serrated flanges which helps keeps connections tight and secure. Connected to the breaker housings are these integrated black silicone terminal isolators. They can be assembled on the end of the terminal studs and can help prevent against shorts caused by inadvertent contact between tools and grounded surfaces. The yellow button on the top disconnects the output and the small yellow lever is for resetting or switching on the circuit breaker if it has been tripped or turned off. This yellow lever makes it extremely easy to tell at a quick glance if it is on or off or if it has been tripped or not. The switches on these breakers have great mechanical endurance ratings with 6,000 cycles at their full current rating in a 12 volt system. Now now let's take a quick look at the panel mount version of these circuit breakers. They have a bit more of a triangular shape at the top and bottom ends of the device. The quarter 20 or M6 size mounting holes are more centrally located than the offset style on the surface mount circuit breakers. You can see that if we flip it over that the input and output studs are at the bottom. Molded into the case it has integrated labels for the battery line in and the auxiliary load side of the breaker. These are 7 16 size nuts on the quarter 20 size studs. Make sure that there is at least one and a quarter inches of clearance behind the mounting surface to avoid any accidental shorts on final install of the panel mount type circuit breakers. It is also important to consider mounting location. Closer to the power source is generally considered better. ABYC and SAE recommend no more than eight to nine inches of unprotected cable downstream of a battery before a fuse or circuit breaker should be installed. With these breakers high temperature ratings, they are great for installing in an engine bay and other high temp spaces. When determining cable sizes and D ratings, we also suggest considering its location and proximity of this device to other installed devices, which could possibly increase device temperatures. This step can save unnecessary wire usage and allow for a cleaner and simpler install with less labor spent routing lengthy wires. So in conclusion, we have looked at the specifications, rated current capacities, and some installation considerations for these tough and proven circuit breakers. I would also like to let you know that this product, as well as other electrical system products, are readily available from our distribution partners across the globe. Please visit our website at www.aegismobile.com if you need any assistance in finding the closest distributor or sales representative to you, and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to providing you with the great customer support that our customers have come to expect. Thank you, and until next time, bye for now.